Do you know your iPhone is constantly tracking what you do on it? It's listening to you through your microphone, it's seeing your location from your iPhone, and it's sending it to Apple and others. It's tracking your camera, and it's even tracking your messages and your phone calls. I'm gonna show you how to turn all of those off to make sure that essentially your iPhone is not able to track you and send your location and information to private companies and other people. But first, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks guys. Now, let's hop out of here and we're going to open the settings app in your iPhone. We'll do all this in the settings app. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to scroll down from here and we're going to find the option that says privacy and security midway down. Tap on that. Now, the first one is that we'll check to see if any apps are tracking you from one app to another or from one website to another. So from here, we're going to tap on tracking midway down. You can see that it says allow apps to access or track your activity across other companies or apps or websites. So essentially this can track all your activity, your actions, your emails, your messages, and share it between different companies. So if this is turned on, make sure you turn this off. And keep in mind if there are any apps that request permission here, make sure you turn those off. Now that's one thing that you want to do, but we also want to do several other things here as well. So let's go back one and still in the privacy and security settings, we're gonna scroll down here because at the very bottom, you notice we're going to do two different things. We're first gonna tap on analytics and improvements and you'll see a bunch of different options for analytics. Now you can see at the very top, help Apple improve its products by sharing analytics about your usage and daily diagnostics. If you scroll down, it says hand washing. So improve hand washing by sharing limited motion and audio data. So every time you wash your hands, your iPhone is basically tracking you and listening in on you when you're in the bathroom. You can see other stuff like improved health and activity, essentially all of your workout and health related stuff, your approximate location, and your heart related measurements if you have an Apple watch on. It's sharing all of that with the Apple company. Again, Essentially, it's sharing all of your personal information. It's tracking everything. Another crazy one is improved AR location accuracy. If this is turned on, it will track your location and the general buildings around you. It's pretty creepy stuff and stuff that I personally don't want to share with Apple or any other company. I would recommend trying off all of these so that it can't track your motion, your voice, or what you're doing on your iPhone. We should turn all of that off. But after you've done that, that's not the only thing. Let's go back one and also tap on Apple advertising right under there because you'll also be able to see it's also tracking what you do in your iPhone and then selling that to companies to better target you for ads. Again, a lot of these are owned by default. Essentially, it's making Apple more money so they can track all of your usage on your iPhone and then sell it to companies like Meta or Google. You really don't need to share this. There's no ad benefit for you on your iPhone by sharing any of that information, but there's a whole lot of ad benefits for third-party companies so that they can sell you better products. So now that we've turned all those off, let's go back and make sure that they're not tracking our location as well. So let's go back one and let's go to the very top. You can see at the very top is location services. Just tap on location services here. And from here, we're gonna scroll down. You can see a number of different apps that might be using your location. If you see that little arrow, that means it's used your location recently. And if you see an app that you don't want them to use your location, I would recommend just tapping on it and then switching it to never. However, a big culprit is if you scroll down, you can see system services at the bottom. Tap on that. Now you'll be able to see a bunch of different things associated with using or tracking your location on your iPhone and sending it to Apple. Now there are some things that are legitimately useful, like emergency calls or find mine in case you lose your iPhone, but there are lots of things that you don't necessarily need. And again, do not help to protect your privacy. So on stuff like Apple Pay merchant identification, you do not need to send them your location. You can do a bunch of different things and I will just essentially mimic what I've turned on and what I've turned off. However, at the very bottom, a key one is significant location and routes. Tap on that. Essentially what this does is it shares the locations that you are commonly at. So places like your office, your work, your home, a friend's house, or routes where you go to and from frequently. It will share all that information with Apple. Again, 
for no added benefit to you. But essentially, this allows Apple to track wherever you go. Personally, I don't want a trillion dollar company to track wherever I go or where I'm commonly at. So I'm gonna turn that off and hit clear history. After you've done that, you might wanna go back out of here. Under product improvement, if any of these are turned on, such as improved location accuracy and maps, I would recommend turning all of those off. Now that we've done those four things, you're no longer sending out your tracking and personal information to Apple or any other companies. I hope this helps. If it did, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks guys.